Okay, as you settle in to relax and to make yourself comfortable, we'll get started. A while after the first wave became acclimated, the new people, arriving almost daily, find they need a bit of an orientation. It seems their transition to the new earth happens quite suddenly, and many hadn't been consciously preparing for it. In fact, what even made them candidates in the first place, each and every one, was the simple kindness they exhibited towards others. Their willingness to lend a hand. Their ability to listen as another shared stories of woe. These people weren't forgotten. They simply took a different path to the new earth without even realizing they were headed there. And here in the new earth, they will become the recipients of something they seemingly gave out themselves so willingly and freely. Love. They will get to experience what it is like to be embraced energetically by a feeling unlike anything in the cosmos. This love was experienced by so few in the old earth as compared to the entire population. But it was possible, just not common. Not at all. Which is why now, the newcomers will be so much in need of a bit of guidance, a bit of support, and the simple opportunity to explore the new earth and themselves in an energy of love like they never knew possible. You are one such person. You have already shown yourself to be someone who can provide this kind of love to others around you. Whether your actions were done with conscious intent or not. Your compassion, your empathy, the way you reach out to help when you see someone struggling. These are the attributes that, on the old earth, were often mocked and portrayed as weak in an environment that applauded acts of vengeance, violence, greed, and hostility. But that was then, and this is now. And as far as everyone else is concerned, you are a hero a positive role model, someone who's inspired rather than merely admired. So be proud of who you are because you're about to make some very important contributions to the new world. But first, it's time to relax, recharge, reimagine what a life in a boundless existence can be like. There is so much to discover, so much to enjoy, so much to create, if these are your wishes. The heaviness of the old earth, the seemingly unreasonable demands on a person's life, young and old, that heaviness is what you feel has lifted, do you not? And if not, yet, then in time, a very short time, any residual heaviness will fall. That heaviness is not compatible with this new earth experience. That time is done. It's over. The old has passed away. It is time for a fresh start. You are ready. There is nothing left for you to fear. The new earth is yours.
And there is no greater feeling of freedom than this. So, relax. Allow your mind to wander. Permit yourself to feel whatever feelings come up. You may find you laugh one moment, and in the next you shed tears. Yet, those tears are not in the form of sadness. No. Instead, they are tears of joy. And emotion achievable on the old earth, but not nearly as often, nor nearly as immense in your body, that you feel so light in your joyfulness in the early days here on the new earth. The tears will flow freely. Let them. Let them wash away the past and begin anew. This is how it begins. With a sense of relief. Then, you'll remember that everything about you, about the life you lived before, is gone forever. A person is able to express freely here, without concern for judgment, because it doesn't have a place on the new earth. The fact that you have an emotion makes that emotion valid and not to be diminished in any way. Because as you orient yourself to the differences you feel in your mind and body, and perhaps even in your thinking, you will find that, like others, people can, you know, express freely and create. It is that simple. No one and no thing holding you back. Least of all, yourself. You will learn to paint and compose music and write poetry and all things that might seem impossible to you now. But soon enough, they will be as natural as breathing. Because as you are coming to realize, the new earth is truly limitless. So, when you really begin to allow yourself to tap into your own genius of creativity and passion, then you will experience life in ways you may never have dreamed possible. Because life responds to you as if it were a dance between partners who move in relation to one another's steps. And though you can't always see them, there are forces moving within the earth which respond to your thoughts and emotions in a manner that is so natural, so effortless, so organic. You will wonder how you could ever have gotten along without it. As you may already know, this was also the case with the old earth. However, the extreme density associated with it made it quite challenging for many practitioners to tap into what would otherwise be readily available. What practitioners? 
people, perhaps like you, who tapped in through practices like Qigong, yoga, meditation, to name a few. It required discipline in order to develop the ability, much like an athlete trains to excel at a sport. In this case, however, the intention was to align with the forces moving within and around the earth, and to have it be natural and organic, yet in the frequency of the new earth, it is also quite effortless. A reward, if you would like to consider it that, for enduring the burdensome lifetimes in such density. As you are entering this new phase of life in the new earth, you will soon discover that your body responds to your thoughts and emotions. You may think of it as a mental, emotional muscle. Exercising it will build strength. You may begin to wonder in what ways your body responds. In time, you will find out. That information can be provided to you, but it would eliminate the delight you experience when you not only see the responses in your body, but feel them also. In the days and weeks ahead, you may expect to be quite delighted in so much within you, in addition to your hearing and sight. And while you may wonder why your hearing and sight, as you process that thought, you find wondrous sights and harmonious, melodic sounds around you now that were not remotely noticeable just a few short minutes ago. You are being taught to see and hear and feel in ways you have not experienced before. And you will likely be surprised, perhaps even shocked at the intricacies of the new earth you'll discover. And like a child in a candy store filled with your favorite treats, you may find it difficult to choose which of the new earth attributes you want to soak in first. However, it may be best to use your sense of restraint and allow yourself all the time in the world to explore. And when the time comes, you will know when you are done orienting yourself to this new environment you worked so hard to experience at some unknown point in your lifetime. Because when you find yourself feeling ready to move into the next phase, it will begin to express itself to you. You will wake up one morning and suddenly remember you had a dream where the new earth was tangible, palpable, where it wasn't just a concept you'd heard about, but a reality that lay before you. It is then, after experiencing the newness of the new earth, after taking in all your heart desired, after finally coming to a point of readiness, for what is to come, that you realize only you can step into it at your discretion. Yes, it is the next phase, but its time is not prescribed. Instead, 
Its arrival is hailed by your own readiness to move forward in the new earth as a valued contributor. Your journey is not yet over. Rather, it has just begun. And as you embark on this next phase, your life will take on a completely different dimension. You are ready. After all, the new earth is yours. Isn't it nice to know your days of struggle and hardship can be over? Eventually, you may have come to realize you held the key all along. Very much like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Upon hearing that, so many people become upset to learn they didn't have to go through all they had gone through. But that is their ego personality responding. Because it was their soul that chose the difficulty, the struggle, the hardship for purposes of its growth. As you may know, all are on a soul mission of growth. However, it happens to express itself differently for some than for others. Some have life quite easy, it seems. Others quite the opposite. But those concerns are not for you any longer, as it may be for others because they may simply not yet know or accept it as such. So for now, you can celebrate your readiness. You can enjoy the feelings of upliftment. You can breathe freely, knowing you are on your way. And more importantly, you can rest assured you are doing what it is your soul wants. Now, you may be wondering what exactly it is that your soul desires. Well, if you are ready to discover it, your soul will reveal it to you. 